How's it going guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you my simple keypad that I created in Unity and I will be leaving a link to download this project in the description of this video so feel free to do that. Uh, but I also want to take you through all the functionalities and what you can change on this um, keypad to basically work for your game. Um, so to take you through how it works, um, I just click this um, to pull up a little keypad. I know the password's one, two, three, so if I enter in something wrong, like one, four, five, it just makes that error sound. Um, if I enter in one, two, three, which is the correct password, it just at the moment displays correct password, but you can obviously change this to whatever you like. For example, you can trigger an animation to open up a door uh, or a safe, or what I was using it for in one of my other games was to basically move to the next scene. Um, there's also a clear function to clear, and this is just a quit. Cool, so let me take you through how it all works. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the keypad prefab. So what you can actually do is, I've made it very flexible where you can change the numbers to letters or symbols. So for example, we can change the text to A. Um, if I save that, um, we then also want to change the text on the canvas keypad. So this is what we're actually going to be entering in. Um, so if I click on the button uh, text, we can change that to A, and then on the button itself, you'll see there's a little section here where you can change where it's requiring a value entered. So we'll just change that to A. So if I just disable disable that and run, you can see it now displays A. So obviously it's an incorrect password, so it's not going to work. But yeah, you can see you can change this to whatever you like: uh, letters, symbols. You can add more buttons, whatever you like. Um, to take okay, so to take you through the script, I just double click and open this up. Cool. So to start you off at the top, we've got objects to disable. So this is just the the floating um, the floating joystick and the slider that we're disabling when we click on that game object. Um, then object to enable is obviously the keypad. Um, we also then have a couple settings for the keypad. So your password which you can set in your game. We're also displaying the password. Um, we're also displaying the password to that text area that was on the keypad. And this is just the sound you hear when you enter in the incorrect password. Um, then on the start, I'm just setting these to default. This number of guesses is the length of your password. Um, when these two equal each other, you can see in the update, if these two equal each other, so the button clicks, um, this obviously increments every time you add a letter. So if we click A, this will go to 1. If we click A again, so it's AA, this will be to 2. Um, if we, um, yeah, so if it will increment, and then if the button clicked is the, equal to the length of the password, which is 3, then we do this logic here. So we obviously check to see if what has been input is equal to the password. If it is, then we do some logic here, so you can see how it just at the moment is displaying correct password. But um, from my previous uh, game that I was using this for, I was moving it to the next scene. Um, you can obviously change this to activate uh, an animation or something like that. Um, yeah, you can do whatever you like. Um, if the password isn't correct, you can see we just reset everything um, and we play that sound. So this part here is just uh, that when we click on that keypad that's on the door, we're just doing some uh, ray casting um, and we're just checking, comparing the tag to see if it's a keypad, which it is that game object. There's a game object on that keypad that's got a box collider and I've changed the tag to keypad. Um, once, and we just set this keypad screen to true. And then if it's true, we just hide those fields um, the joystick and the slider, and we enable the keypad on the on the canvas. So this value entered. This is what we saw on those buttons where we pass. We change that one to a. So the the variable comes through here. We just do a case statement if it's Q or C, which was the quits or clear. We just do some logic here. So it's pretty straightforward to follow. And then the default, if it's anything other than Q and C, basically. Uh, we basically increment this button clicked and we just we add the whatever value was entered into our inputs so it just builds a string up and we just play whatever was entered and yeah that's pretty much it
yeah, so I hope this is useful, guys. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. And please leave a like and subscribe. Cool. Thanks for watching. Cheers.